looks like the Alien movie franchise, which has been embattled in recent years, does have some life left in it, to the surprise of many who are, know about this news. Just a little while ago on comicbook.com, they um, reported on something that came from Variety, you know, one of the biggest Hollywood trades. Um, that article made it sound like a third Alien film, a third Alien prequel film is in development. You know, we had Alien Covenant, we had Prometheus first, then Alien Covenant, and, you know, Alien Covenant underperformed after Prometheus kind of sort of underperformed too. So people thought that, you know, the franchise was dead and there were rumors that they were going to pivot to having it on TV. You know, put Alien on a streaming TV series and abandon making movies for now. Um, but it looks like, according to this, they may still want to make a third movie. I know the way that Covenant ended. I mean, it ended in a way where there's definitely going to have to be a sequel to wrap it up. You know, a third movie, you know, in the the Alien prequel trilogy. But that movie, you know, underperformed really badly. So people were like, well, they're not going to bring it back. But apparently Ridley Scott, the director of both Prometheus and Covenant, said, you know, a script is being worked on for a third Alien prequel movie that he will direct again, just like he did the other two. Here's what he said. Apparently Ridley Scott was in talks with Disney, you know, the new owners of the Alien franchise, um, about an idea in mind about where to take the franchise. And I guess they were, you know, open to what he was saying. Here's his quote. The alien origin concept is uniquely attached to Mother Nature. He's referring to the original 1979 alien movie that he directed. The first one that put, you know, the alien franchise on the map. It simply comes off a wood beetle that will lay eggs inside some unsuspecting insect. And in doing so, the form of the egg will become the host for this new creature. That's hideous. But that was what it was. And you can't keep repeating that because the joke gets boring. So basically what he's talking about here is you all know how Alien goes. You know, there's the face huggers. They implant embryos in people, burst out of the chest. You know, it's a, it's like a very gross version of like the whole parasite, you know, concept that we know of in nature. What he's saying here is I guess he feels like telling that same, you know, parasitic story over and over again is tiring to him. And he wants to take it into a new direction. He was starting to do that with Covenant and Prometheus. He was telling some stories touching on like the creation of all life. He focused a lot on David the android. Um, he did explore and he like introduced like other kinds of monsters or creatures. So Ridley Scott did attempt, I guess, to take things in a different direction with Prometheus and Covenant with mixed results. Because, you know, those movies didn't exactly, you know, blow the world on fire critically or financially for the most part. But, you know, he's got more to say. Go on, leave that behind and see where it can evolve. So we're looking where we're going to evolve. So if that third prequel movie ever gets made, it's going to be more of the same. You know, more of him not necessarily focusing so much on the face hugger, you know, I guess flesh eating monster or killing monster aspect, but just on, you know, attaching more themes to it. If they do make a third prequel movie, I think it will be the last one um, because like I said, these movies haven't been doing as well as expected. And the only reason I think to make a third movie is just to wrap it up because Alien Covenant ended on a huge cliffhanger. So I think they've got to close it up so they can, you know, move past this era, this prequel phase and, you know, go forward to make other Aliens movies. You know, a while ago, Neil Blomkamp, you know, of District 9 fame and Elysium, he did Elysium, right? He wanted to make an Alien 5 movie with Sigourney Weaver coming back and Michael Bean and the character of Newt growing up, either played by the same original actress Carrie Hinn or a new actor, a new actress to recast that role. But, um, you know, because of like, you know, Hollywood politics and stuff, Fox didn't go with Alien 5. They went with Ridley Scott's, you know, trilogy, prequel trilogy first. And Ridley Scott is still making it. So Neil Blomkamp cannot make his movie while Ridley Scott's still working on the other movies. You know, he came to bat first. He's the one they chose first. Um, and in the meantime, Neil Blomkamp, he doesn't want to sit around waiting for it. He's moved on to other stuff. So we'll see. We'll see if the third Alien prequel movie will come to pass. I'm a big Aliens fan, so I'll watch it and be excited for it. I do have to admit, though, that there were things about... I wasn't exactly over, like, really impressed with Prometheus or Covenant. I thought they were decent, but I wasn't blown away like I was watching some of the earlier Aliens movies. So, you know... I do think that after this third Alien prequel movie happens, if it does, you know, it'll be time to wrap up Ridley Scott's trilogy. You know, don't do an Alien, you know, a fourth or fifth one. Just wrap it up 
and move to the next phase, you know, to the Neil Blomkamp movie or someone else or an alien TV show series. That's just, you know, my two cents or $2.50, but what do you think? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.